it is my honor to present Stephen Curry with the 2014-2015 Kia Most Valuable Player Award. You guys push me every single day. I'm gonna go through, kind of just talk about you individually because you need to be highlighted as a part of this process. Just, just Holla, Justin Holiday. Um, this is our first year together. But your story and, and how you've had to fight uh, to make a team and, and to establish yourself as NBA players is amazing. And that's inspiring for sure. Keep working, keep doing what you're doing. You're a special player that deserves to be you know, on this level. And um, I'm just proud of the way that you've done, done what you've been able to do. Moments like these don't come without a lot of hard work and sacrifice. There are many roads to the NBA, and Justin Holiday's path was far from easy. I think this is my last year, but the reason I wanted to pull this out is because you see Clay is on there. Because they, they, the, they were saying he was the best player, I guess, in our league at the time. I don't know. Don't know about that one, Clay. So he had 45 on us, actually, in the Pac-10 tournament. We won, but still. We should have went further that year, but we lost to Harrison Barnes in the game before the Sweet 16. So a lot of players that I play with now, I've played against in college. The hardest thing was not getting drafted at first. Uh, I'm not sh my thing about now, I'm not sure which hit me the hardest, not getting drafted or getting cut the first time, but I think not getting drafted and then I guess I'm gonna realize I'm gonna have to go overseas and play. Being undrafted out of the University of Washington was just the first hurdle for Justin Holliday and his future wife, Shekina. This is the beginning of a long journey for us. We started dating the beginning of August. By mid-August, I think it was August 15th, he flew to um, start the season with Okapi, and I remember thinking, what have I gotten myself into? To gain attention from NBA teams, Holiday spent two seasons playing in Belgium and Hungary. Over both years, I played in Russia, Estonia, Bosnia, Serbia, I played in Croatia, Turkey. While developing his skills all over Europe, Justin and his wife had to face many cultural differences. It was hard to be separated from your family, seven hour time difference, um, language barrier, hard to find even food and understand what food you're eating and how to grocery shop and cook it. And we hit a lot of those walls and we broke through every single time. I think that getting drafted is what made me grow faster, I guess I can say, than a, than a slower process. I mean, it, it sucked, but it's what made me a lot more mature than I was at that time. We all played. My wife played, I played, uh, brother played, my wife's sisters played. So. It's a long history of basketball in our family, so. Well, I think his worth ethic is above uh, a lot of people. I mean, this guy, he lives in the gym, um, night in, night out. I mean, we used to get in the gym, we'd be in the gym at midnight. He's very, very disciplined, and he wants to be the best, and he knows to be the best, he has to work. So we get in the gym constantly. We'll probably get in the gym tomorrow. <laughs> Between stops overseas, Holiday's chase of the NBA dream led him to the D-League, where the uphill battle continued. There wasn't many uh, t-shirts and things given out when you're in the D-League. It was usually the jersey you played in. I remember coming to visit him and they'd all be around playing phase 10. I'd cook a big pot of gumbo. Everybody would come over literally with their bowls. And so they would just start knocking on the door and coming in with their silverware and with their bowl. And they would just ladle the food. I had to grow a lot there. I had to grind literally with you know my teammates playing in cold gyms, uh, horrible road trips. One of the nights we played a late game, probably seven, eight o'clock, drove to the next place and got in at probably three, four in the morning and then we had a noon game. So, I mean, there was pretty much no sleep, no recovery time. I had a granola bar before the game or whatever. We won. I actually played very well that game, too. Holiday's perseverance and determination paid off, gaining the attention of Warriors general manager Bob Myers. So we watched him mature, work on his game in the D-League, eventually got him with us through his own growth and, and through watching him and, and having the ability to look at him very closely. He came and worked out with us. Um, and was in training camp with us. He's a good example, a good case study in how you can find your way back to the NBA. The last game of preseason when we had to wait in the family area uh, for Justin to come out, we knew that when he came out, we would know whether he made the team or not. And just had that million dollar smile on his face and um, was super excited. A lot of his family was there. You could just feel the energy of so many people that were relieved, so proud, so encouraged to hear the news for him. and. Um, Thus began the beginning of our journey here at Golden State Warriors. Holiday! Oh man, that is worth another look. 
Justin made it, he's not content. Just like everyone here and everyone on our team. He's always the last one in the gym every day. And I feel like he got that from, I mean, grinding through the D League. And uh, he's a great player, he's been in the league for a long time. You know, not getting drafted and playing in the D League, being cut all those times, it just prepared me for the, the, the moment that I am in now. Holiday has helped Golden State to its best regular season record in franchise history, which earned them the matchup against the New Orleans Pelicans, the team his younger brother drew place for. I know I really get excited for them because I know how hard they've worked to get to where they are and to see them get out there at the highest level of, of uh, basketball, the pinnacle of basketball. But uh, it's pretty amazing to have two sons to play at this level and to play together. Well, it's, it's just, it's an un indescribable feeling. One person that I've always count on is my brother, so um, doubting that he would make the NBA was never a thought in my mind. I, I knew he was definitely an NBA player. Obviously, extremely proud of him for for making the team that he made and being, you know what I mean, the best team in the league uh, in the regular season, so. As a matter of fact, this might be one of my, uh, my bad. Moza, Ty. Oh, right on. <laughs> it's special. It's always been special. They've always gotten along. Justin is Drew's man. I mean, his big brother. And he really looked up to his big brother. Right, what are we about to do? Go home and eat. She cooks them. They still got the leftovers. Red beans and rice? Yeah. yeah. Enough. It's pretty awesome. I mean, we're truly blessed. I mean, I couldn't have dreamed it any better than how it's turned out. Mine's a little, I mean, a little bit easier. Uh, I went to one year college, drafted 17. I haven't had to go overseas and not be with my family for, for the whole year. Um, or even go through like the draft and not know what's gonna happen. His fight and his determination obviously says a lot about him. You know, I want to be a I'll start one day. I want to be a starter one day, and it's crazy. It might sound to other people. That's something I believe I can't do, and I'm always going to work to get to that point and beyond. I mean, you can ask my wife. I, just, I text her random times talking about, you know, I want to be great. And and usually when I'm doing that is because it's when it's the time when I'm actually struggling. It's like I want to be this so bad, but with the journey I've had, I know I have to be patient. I know I have to continue to work over and over again. So that chip is, is going to always be there. When the fog is down and when the sun's not right behind, you can see the city, you can see the Golden Gate Bridge from here. So I bring my family up here sometimes and show them around, but I, mean, I think the view is, is really, really nice. And I was in the hotel for a long time, so I was tired of looking at buildings. So, but I mean, I'm just grateful to be, you know, in the NBA and being, a, you know, such a great team, play for such a great organization. So, you know, I can't really complain. This is the warmest weather I've lived in in a few years now, so I'm, I'm happy.